watching West Harford Community Television. You're watching West Harford Community Television. You're watching West Harford Community Television. For the community, by the community. Princess Bola Adelani, the total success coach, welcoming you to Inspired Success, your monthly dose of inspiration power. This is the program that's designed to equip you with the power and inspiration for total success. That is success at work and in life. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm really, truly excited about today's broadcast for two reasons, and I'll tell you them. The first being the broadcast topic of the month. We're going to be talking about getting back in the game. Yes, that's what I said. Getting back in the employment and business game. To all of you out there who are out of work, whose business have closed down, I bring you a word of encouragement. It's not over till it's over. Mm. And it's not over yet. It's only half time. There's still ample of time for you to get back into the game and to succeed. And we're on the broadcast today going to teach you and equip you with the rules and give you the tools as to how to get back in the game. So I'm excited about that. The second reason why I'm excited about today's broadcast is because I have two phenomenal and dynamic guests. Everybody knows that Princess Bola deals with the best and the greatest. No mediocrity for me. And so I have two of my colleagues um, who are on the show, who will be speaking alongside me and sharing alongside with me today on this subject of getting back into the game. To my left is Kay Wilson. Kay Wilson is an attorney like myself. She's an inspirational speaker. She's also a motivational coach, and she is um, a coach, a, a life coach and a life, um, a life and career coach. She's the president and founder of K. Wilson Coaching Incorporated. She's also the co-founder of Inner Circle USA. In a few minutes, um, K. will be telling us a bit more about the Inner Circle and what she does. Sit there to my right is Chris John Amarosino. I call him my guru, my writing guru. Chris is the president and founder of Amarosino Writing LLC. He's a writer, as you can tell from his um, writing business name. He's a writer, he's an editor, and he's also an author who's, um, you know, he's written um, a book, and we'll be talking about that very shortly. And so um, I welcome you both to you, Inspire Bola. Success. Thank you. Thank you very much, Princess Bola. Thank Happy you. to be here. You're welcome. And so, um, Kay, why don't you just... Um, introduce yourself um, to our audience. Tell them a little bit more about who you are and what you do. Sure. Um, I started as a litigation attorney and I did employment law litigation for about 10 years. And what I found was that most litigation really involves interpersonal skills failures. So I got really curious about how to prevent those kinds of things from happening and I designed training to prevent litigation. And then from there, I started to learn coaching skills and I became enchanted with coaching. Mm. I love the idea of life coaching and the idea that we can help each other by serving to be each other's sounding boards, by guiding and giving inspiration. So I went into the coaching and then I founded Kay Wilson Coaching and Training. And right now, I focus on training for the workplace environment. Sometimes employees hire me to help with a boss who needs 
charm school. Sometimes uh, bosses hire me to work with an employee who is very valued but is having difficulties. So those are the kind of interventions that I do. I also work with women executives and I help them find their voice and find their power so that they can be effective and be passionate about what they want to achieve and get it, just like you, Princess Bola. Isn't that wonderful? She's doing a wonderful job. I know that personally. So it's great how you get ready to learn today. And Chris, why don't you also tell our audience, uh, our viewers, a bit more about um, who you are and what you do? Sure. Princess, I write marketing stories that live profitably ever after. At a very young age, I fell in love with the power of words. And basically what I do all day long is I get to play with words, <laughs> words in a business format. Uh, so it could be electronic messages, it could be print messages, anything that has to do with selling a product, selling a service, selling a company, promoting somebody. I've been involved in, in those types of things. I do a lot in financial services, a lot in healthcare but just about anything in marketing communications and public relations writing. So give me words, don't expect me to do numbers. <laughs> That's great. I have person, Chris has done work for me before and honestly, he's phenomenal. I was just saying before the broadcast that, um, you know, your verbal communication skills are totally different from written communication skills. I soon discovered that and um, he's helped me tremendously on my um, written communications, on my brochure certain other things. So, you know, you now know that we have um, two really dynamic um, individuals on today's broadcast. So really, like I said earlier, really get ready to be equipped and inspired and uh, make sure you um, tell a friend, you know, call up a friend and uh, tell them, and particularly if they're out of work or if their business is not doing so well or their business just closed down, tell them to um, watch um, this month's um, uh, edition of Inspired Success, and um, they can do it at their at their leisure time, at their own convenient time, on demand via the internet at www.whctv.org. Again, it's www.whct.org, or they can just um, log on as, as well to my website at royalproclamations.com, and there'll be a link um, to to the broadcast. Okay, why don't we just dive right in today's, um, in today's message. You know, um, we're talking about getting back into the game. And um, in my estimation, you know, getting back into the game, before we, the first step towards getting back into the game is to confront and to conquer uh, negative emotions. You know, there are all kinds of various um, negative emotions that people feel when they get, have been laid off or when they have had to close their businesses, you know, from anger, from betrayal, a sense of betrayal, you know, they're angry at their establishment, at their management, at their organization, they feel betrayed and let down, disappointment, um, there's all kinds of insecurities going on, you know, why me, you know, was it because I wasn't performing so well, you know, it, um, so low self-esteem comes in and um, they begin to feel fear, you know, will I ever get back into the game, will I succeed, will I get a new job, you know, and so in my estimation, the first step towards getting back in the game, like I said, is to con confront and conquer these negative emotions. And so my first question will be to you, Kay, is um, why do you think it is so important to, um, you know, first deal with these emotions and um, that how can negative emotions interfere with the attempts, with attempts, people's attempts in getting back in the game? When we have a negative emotion, it can sap our psychic ability to confront and frame what we're dealing with successfully. The first step is to name and identify and feel, not deny, but to feel those emotions. 
so often people s skip to the next step, which is trying to reframe it, trying to think a different way, trying to push it away, when the truth is we need to feel what we're feeling, honor those feelings, but then there comes a time when we're ready to move from those feelings, let those fade, so that something else can emerge. And what can emerge is the hopefulness, the ability to know that no matter what, we always have more resources than we think we do. And those resources are people. The people around us, the people we know, are are the resources that we need to tap. And so networking becomes really important and getting in the game always involves reaching out to those who have resources, who know the right people, who can help us frame our next steps and be successful. And it's hard to do it on your own. Oftentimes what we really need is someone to bounce ideas off of. We need a coach or a friend or an inspirer who can help us keep our chin up and start looking at what our real options are. So the first step is feel those feelings honor those feelings, maybe do some journaling, talk about them, name them, and then from there, let them start to fade after honoring them. Let them start to move aside so that we can bring in the hopefulness and the no knowledge that no matter what happens, we always have enough skills and resources within ourselves, in our communities, to help ourselves get to the next step. Absolutely, that is just so true. Feel it, you know, identify it, own it, and then let go of it and then replace it with positive um, emotions and positive feelings, you know, faith and um, belief. That is awesome, McKay, thank you so much. Now, the second step, as I have estimated it, is that um, after we've confronted and we've, um, we've conquered all these negative emotions and we've replaced them with, um, you know, positive um, thoughts and those kind of things, and like Kay mentioned, you know, we, we look into our circle, inner circle, come into that later, and um, tap into the resources available, work with a professional, you know, a professional coach uh, like us, um, <laughs> 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 had to throw that in. <laughs> I'm bringing a lighter moment. But really, uh, more seriously, um, work with a professional coach um, that would, you would, would be your sounding board, really, and your cheerleader, motivational coach who can tell you who know you can do it, you can achieve it, and would actually equip you with the tools that you need to get back in the game. After we've done all of that, I believe the next step then is really um, to organize our thoughts. And um, you kind of mentioned that in passing, but um, you know, organize our thoughts, you, and then write, you know, write. Capture our thoughts, organize it, and write. And what um, we need to write um, is things like, you know, our experience, our goals, you know, and just those various kind of things. And, um, you know, that is where now Chris comes in mm -hmm. because, um, you know, we need to now learn how to write our cover letters, our resumes, our brochures, our website contents, our newsletters. And as I was, I was saying earlier that, um, before we started the show, that the first thing people really get to know about um, you as a potential uh, um, individual or the prospective um, a person trying to get back into the game, looking for work or getting a business contract. The first thing that people then uh, know about you or hear from you or read from you are your marketing materials, your, your brochure, your resume, your cover letter, they go to your website. And so it is very, very crucial. It is so important to get that right. And so my question will be to you, Chris, what are some of the keys to effective um, written communication? There are three, Princess, that I think of for effective business communication. The first is clarity. Whatever you write needs to be easily understood. Even if I have a Harvard MBA, I don't want to use that Harvard MBA to understand a marketing communication piece. Mm. The second thing that's important is benefit. You need to write from the perspective of your audience as opposed to the perspective that, that you have or that your company has. So think of what the audience needs to hear and mm. frame your message in words that will connect with them. And the third thing is truth. We live in an age of skepticism, and 
we need to make sure that whatever we say has the ring of truth to it because people get bombarded with marketing messages. There are about 6,000 messages wow. that we have to, to get through every single day. Wow. And one of the ways that, that we do that is by, making, by deciding whether we can believe that message or not. And if I'm reading something and it doesn't seem to be believable, it goes in that round file that sits next to it. <laughs> 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 wow, wow, wow. Very simply put, clarity, mm -hmm. benefit, benefit, and truth. Truthfulness. Very mm -hmm. simple. Mm -hmm. Bear that in mind. Clarity. Just make it as simple as possible. We, you know, you're not writing a philosophy of, you know, like dictation or something like that. Keep it simple and um, clear enough precise and then benefit you're you're supposed to write to the audience to the prospective um, employer or the your prospective target audience so you know benefits to them not you <laughs> and then you said thirdly um, you need to be truthful and honest and you know don't say things that you're not okay great those are just wonderful tips for you to be in mind for effective written communication and now what are some of the crucial information that must be written and in what order, you know? Um, okay. Particularly, I, um, okay, I think we'll come to that later for the micro-entrepreneur, but what are some of the contents that must be in this um, maybe resume or in this um, mm -hmm. cover letter, you know? And, you know, in what order should it kind of be? be um, listed. Okay. Well, first, I, I want to be sure that we're talking about people who are getting back into the game, people who are between jobs and, and are looking for a new job. Um, and what we're looking for is uh, we, we want people to be uh, very specific. And I recommend that you start by writing for yourself. The first thing you should write is whatever your job objective is. What kind of job are you looking for? And put that in specific terms. For example, I might write something like, I am seeking a job in human resources with a Fortune 500 company in Greater Hartford. Or I might write, I want to work as an assistant for an executive in a small company based in Bloomfield. Or I might write, mm. I want to work for a nonprofit who works with children and make $20,000 a year. So once you've written that objective, then it becomes a lot easier to find employers, prospective employers, who can match that. There, there's so much out there that unless you get focused, you could go off in 100 different directions and really waste a lot of time and a lot of resources. After you've done that, then you need to think about why should I be hired for this type of job? And to do that, you need to answer a series of questions for yourself. One is, what qualifies you to do this work that you mm. want to find? Another is, what life experiences have prepared you for this work? A third one would be, what training, what education do you have in, in this field? And maybe you've done some things in previous jobs that relate to the type of job you're looking for. So gather all that information together. And those two pieces, your, your job goal and why you are qualified for that job, they form the basis for your resume. And they need to be very prominent in your resume. Okay, Fant and then Fantastic, sorry, is there, is there more that you wanted to share? Yes, um, a after you start building your resume, another important point is to show that resume to a couple of people who deal with resumes on a regular basis. Maybe they interview people, maybe they hire people, and give them your resume and ask for a very honest critique. You know, what are the positives of my resume? What would you do to improve it? Because the, there are some people who they'll pick up your resume and within three seconds, they'll decide whether they're gonna read it or not. Absolutely, and yeah. that, But may, be, be sure to pick somebody who really has that experience, as opposed to, you know, I could show it to my mother, but <laughs> if my mother isn't a job interviewer, then exactly. she's probably not a good person for me to share the <laughs> resume with. Absolutely, yes, that's a good one. I hope you have your notepad and you're jotting down notes, because, I mean, this is just so informational and educational, really. I mean, Chris has touched on some very 
very, very important um, points. Um, you know, you talked about goal setting. I, I, you know, um, this is what Kay and I teach also mm -hmm. our clients is to um, the first step, you know, in trying to get back into any game or do any form of business is to set your goals, you know. What are my objectives? So what are my career goals? What mm -hmm. kind of job am I seeking to um, seeking employment in again, you know, or what kind of business am I looking for? So that's the first step, you know, mm -hmm. that your, your, your material, your writing material must contain that, your objective. And then you said also that they needed to have the qualifications, you mm -hmm. know, what qualifies mm -hmm. me for this kind of position or this kind of, um, I beg your pardon, goal. And then lastly, what, um, the, resume. The, the resume to be critiqued by a mm -hmm. third party in that field. You see, so now we're back to your people network because now you need people in your network or you need to work with people who will be able to give you a honest and critical professional, yes. professional yeah. um, opinion on that resume. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. This is really, um, this is wonderful, wonderful information. And um, what about for the uh, micro entrepreneur, you know, um, because this um, broadcast is not just to, mm -hmm. you know, equip um, those wanting to get him back in the employment, game, but the, the business owner, the small business owner whose business isn't doing so well or had had to kind of really close down, really, you know, how do they get back into that business game? What are the must have marketing materials and what should the contents of those material reflect you know well princess the the content to me is more important than the actual marketing material in terms of I need to know the, um, the, the exact content that, that I want to put in there uh, as opposed to uh, choosing but you wouldn't choose a, between a brochure and a website first you would first decide okay okay which how do one? i need to yeah, frame which it? one yeah but you know for a micro entrepreneur with a small budget mm -hmm. um you know um you know they might not be able to go the website route immediately right you know and so which one is um is it just having a business card will that do that's a material or the brochure is a must-have or maybe a flyer and you know what would you consider to be like a must-have basic mm -hmm. um, you know, marketing material? And like I said, what kind of things yeah. should that contain? And well, well first, let's reemphasize that it needs to be clear, and okay. it needs to be honest, and it needs to be benefit-oriented. Okay. okay. Secondly, the only piece of marketing material that I think you absolutely positively need to have is a business card. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, and then yeah. after that, it depends on what kind of business you have. For example, if my business is website development, I'm probably not going to choose to do a print brochure as my major piece. Exactly. It makes much more sense for me to have a very well done website. Yes. And that's my other key point is don't try to think about doing everything at once. You know, a newsletter, a brochure, a website. Pick out the one piece that is most in line with your budget, with your audience, and with your business, and make that your major piece. For example, if I was opening up a hair salon, maybe the piece that I would do wouldn't be a website, it would be some photos of yeah. women whose hair I have done. Exactly. So it really depends on the business and the principles are the same, clarity, benefit and truthfulness. That's right. Fantastic, fantastic. And so we're, you know, been wrapping up um, today's broadcast and but we still have a, a, a few more minutes to touch on this question, this issue that's so dear to my heart, which is networking. You know, and um, you know everybody knows like I am the self-styled queen of networking. Okay, I, I believe that there is nothing that we really want to achieve, you know, whether it be in business or in life, that we can achieve on our own. You know, dreams are not solitary, so um, you need to really kind of plug into um, people. You know, and um, it's very very important. You know that uh, that we really need to get out there and. Um, 
start networking. And um, like I mentioned earlier, Kay is the co-founder of Inner Circle USA, which is um, a networking, um, you know, organization networking and, mentoring for, and women. mentoring for women organization, you know, facilitated mm -hmm. networking. Um, so I know that that's a, a, an area of expertise um, for her also. Um, so I want you to tell our viewers, Kay, how crucial networking is you know especially as regards getting back in the game i know you kind it's of absolutely touched on it absolutely earlier. crucial and also give them some basics you're going to be putting uh, doing three things you tell them how crucial give them some basic tips you know i call it um basics to networking i know we could do an entire broadcast on networking and talk about networking 101 and it will take us forever you know but just some basic um you know um, networking principles and then the third thing is to speak to the discouraged um, networkers out there I, I come across a lot of my clients and they tell me you know um, you know princess Paula I've been networking it doesn't work you know I'm not getting any results uh, no leads and whatever what would you say to those kind of people and how can they improve on their networking skills um, if you can do that sure. in just a few minutes sure well networking is primarily about building relationships Building relationships is done through connections and connectivity and touches, interactions with that person, and by giving service to that person. So if networking has not been working for you, then I would say to that person, you have to review whether you're giving enough, whether you're helping other people, and whether your motives are in the right place. Because it isn't just about collecting business cards. <laughs> One, and lots of people do that. They got Absolutely. a lot of business cards they've collected, but they've <laughs> never made a follow-up call. They've never had coffee with anybody. They've never started their own little networking group, or they've never offered to send articles or help or be of some strategic assistance to those people. And that is what will get you more recognition from people you network with, yeah. is by strategically helping them meet their goals, finding out about their business, finding out about mm -hmm. their challenges and trying to see who do I know who can help you and chances are if you find a few connections for somebody they're going to start thinking about connections for you Absolutely. and so the key is is to think of it's not just a business card there's a person there and that person knows other persons and when you treat that person well they're going to lead you to other persons and then you start the whole process all over again with those relationships building it and giving value exactly so it's about giving value and building relationships are not just about um, seeing a dollar sign on somebody's forehead, mm. so to speak. Anyway, it's been a great, great bro broadcast today. And um, I, I know how can our viewers contact you? I know Chris has written um, a phenomenal booklet called Leave It to the Pros. And some of the principles that he has outlined today on the broadcast are contained in here. Um, so how can our viewers contact you? I know you have a website. Can you just quickly give sure. it Sure. My website is www.kwilsoncoaching.com, and K is spelled out K-A-Y. And Chris? And my website is Amorosino Writing, so that's www, this is a long one, A-M-O-R-O-S-I-N-O, writing, W-R-I-T-I-N-G.com. And of course, you know that if you go to www.royalproclamations.com, you'll find all the information that you need regarding today's broadcast, as well as um, my guests. I want to say a big thank you to thank you. Thank you very and much, John Paula. for being here. I want to say thank you to you for watching. Um, make sure that you share this wonderful news, this wonderful broadcast with a friend or a colleague or um, a family member. Um, don't forget to send me an email, provide me feedback, sign up for my monthly e-newsletter at www.royalproclamations.com. This is your partner in total success, Princess Bola Adelani, reminding you to keep smiling, keep believing, keep learning, keep networking, keep on keeping on. You're on the winning side. I'll see you next month. Take care. God bless.